Oh, you alright guys? I'm uh, just looking on my iPad. I'm just, just seeing if I can hire an elf. Why, you ask? Well, um, it seemed to work for Will and E. Rise up, people. We need to stop Morg's mum. So she's at an AK? <laughs> yeah, she was like, oh, I've, uh, I've got a couple of air rifles. Should I use those? <laughs> Jeez, Jesus! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> what is that? That's Jill Hudson. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the balls in her face! Okay! So unless you've been living under some sort of a rock, then you'll be aware that Will and E enlisted the help of a very special guest to help in his fight against Morg's mum. And she's possibly one of the strangest people on the planet. A planet that involves Deji. Now Morg's mum, she, she'd been doing some pretty bad things to Will and E. She'd been flexing her money, wiping tears away. And he's just tweeted that his video's been demonetised. Oh dear, I'm so glad that my videos aren't demonetised. Would you like to borrow this to wipe your tears, Will and me? And uh, throwing darts at him a little bit like this one. I'm so good at darts for some reason. But this one, I think it actually looks a bit like Morg's mum. Like, I, I can I can see the similarities. The I can imagine when, when Morg's like, throws off a treadmill. No, Morgan! No! No! Pause! Ah! Ah! Oh, kicks him in the face. Oh! Whatever things he makes her do, she looks a bit like this behind the camera. But I thought we'd have a look into this and we'd have a look the truth behind Will and E and Belle Delphine. Rise up, people. We need to stop Morg's mum. So it all started where people were teasing Will and E about the fact that Morg's mum a living meme had overtaken him in terms of YouTube subscribers. That's up, Will. You got overtaken by Morg's mum. Morg's mum is That's a sign. Him. That's a sign. So he declares war on Morg's mum. And uh, they have a bit of a back and forth. They uh, throw a few darts at each other. And I uh, can't really believe I'm saying this. But yeah, darts were thrown. Uh, videos were made. And posters were put up left, right and centre. <laughs> Hashtag stop Jill Hudson. <laughs> Will and E seemed to be gaining on it, everything was looking good, and then all of a sudden Morg's mum, world domination became hers again, and, and she took off. So what did Will and E do? Well, he did what anyone would do in that situation. He, uh, he spent two and a half grand to speak to an elf. What if Barclays fraud detection ring me up and be like, right, so what exactly have you been buying on the internet? <laughs> yeah, just want to confirm, uh, I do want this. Oh my god, it's done. Oh, nice. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that's what I'd do if, if I had two and a half grand. If I ever had two and a half grand in my bank account, the uh, the, the first person, the first thing I'd do is I'd, I'd just go straight to Belle Delphine's Patreon because I'm just a huge fan. No, I am, honestly. I'm, I'm just a huge fan of pink-haired wig wearers with elf ears and I just can't get enough of them. But what I'm really interested in is why I got Belle Delphine as his right-hand woman or right hand elf, whatever she identifies as, a leopard skin tiger, or whatever these days, uh, why, uh, why? Now obviously he's, he's best mates with KSI now, so uh, he, he could have just got JJ, he's got 20 million subscribers, could get him a quick call and been like, do you want to help me in my fight against Morg's mum, but um, he seemed to laugh at that. Fam, she's on 2.2 million subscribers. She's got more than Will and E. Mums are making pee around here, fam. YouTube has gone a long way. Oh my. <laughs> Unreal. Now, nah, Will, mate, there's, I don't think there's any point. <laughs> I think you should just accept the feat. <laughs> anyway, the, the person who picked was Belle Delphine eventually. And instead of a, just sending a DM like I would, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to get a response. I'll send her one now, actually. Uh, where's my iPad? I'll just get one now. I'll uh, just send her a DM now, actually. Um, Right. Hi, Belle. Do you fancy giving me 75,000 subscribers in a day? Thank you, Wady. I'll, uh, I'll show you the response at the end of the video, because, uh, I mean, I'll try and respond to you all, but I'll be around 77,000 subscribers, so, uh, try my best. So I've had a bit of a look into Belle Delphine, and not only is she a TikTok star, she's, uh, she's also uploaded two videos on a YouTube channel. And the, the second of which, the most recent, is it's, it's horrifying. It, it really is. It, it makes me feel a bit sad. It makes me feel vulnerable. It makes me feel scared. And it makes me want to cry. I mean, it's a good 
bedroom, that, it looks good. I wish I had my bedroom like this. I'm going to change these horribly coloured wardrobes and I'm going to change them for a... Uh, just an exact replica of Belle Delphine's because the... That's the in thing nowadays. Here is Super Sonico. This hat's in Mickey. And um, Madoka Magica. And an acorn. Some watches. This is a really sad teddy that I painted at a clay painting place. Some more things that I painted. Now, I, I, I'm not really sure what this is. It, it looks a bit like a Christmas tree. In fact, I think it probably is a Christmas tree considering uh, what else she's got there. But, but this video was uploaded on the 5th of September. But uh, we are talking about a, a woman or a girl. I'm not, I'm not really sure who, who wears elf ears and, and pink hair. So, uh, that's not even really that strange. So on top of my mantelpiece, I've got this mirror, which I decorated in flowers. To the right of it, I have this doll, which I put on a new wig and did some makeup on it. Just imagine waking up in the middle of the night. You've had one too many coronas. It's, it's still water. And, uh, and turn over, and what you see is that. You'd run an absolute mile. Well, um, I would anyway, because things like that scare me. So now, the truth behind all this. This is coming from a man who predicted Will and his I'm a Celebrity little uh, play with the media before it happened, I must say. So, uh, makes me automatically a genius. But basically, what I think is happening is... Uh, a bit of a B-Tech version of PewDiePie versus T-Series. And I mean that in the nicest possible way because uh, he's doing amazingly out of it. 75,000 subscribers in a, in a day, which is, uh, I've never really seen those numbers apart from PewDiePie. But the truth about where Belle and Delphine comes in, I think it was basically just riding a trend. That's the only thing I can think. There were so many videos on the dark side of Belle Delphine. Belle Delphine exposed. Belle Delphine does this. Belle Delphine does that. I'm surprised I actually said Belle Delphine that many times without saying Del Belphine because I had to actually practice saying that. Uh, that. That's the only thing I can think, but why he didn't actually send her a DM, I, I have absolutely no idea. Apart from the fact that uh, that video did like 5 million views. So what we're going to do is, see this computer behind me, we're going to have a, a bit of a log on and uh, we're going to see what Belle Delphine's got, got for my sort of like monetary level on a Patreon. And by my level I mean like 30p. Right, so we're here, we're uh, on Belle Delphine's Patreon. The first thing that stands out is uh, Belle Delphine is creating photos and lewd content. If you actually what lewd content is, a uh, quick Google search of the word lewd, crude and offensive in a, I'm not sure if I can say that word, in a way you'll hopefully be able to see on screen. But anyway, we'll, uh, we'll dive straight in and we'll show you the bits that uh, Will and he didn't show you. So first off, you've, uh, you've got to confirm you're 18 or older, so if you're not 18 or older, you're, uh, you have to turn off, apparently. The first page, it's really interesting, it says, Welcome to my Patreon, with the, a nice little bit of text underneath that, I'll read it to you now. If you're into weird elf kitty girls who try too hard, then you have come to the right place. I mean, that's, that's what I'm into, that's what everyone's into, it's a really big genre, that, like, uh, she's going for the mass market here, like, if anyone ever goes out, like, clubbing or dancing, they're, they're always looking for weird elf kitty girls, constantly, it's uh, it's annoying actually. Uh, any normal girl, they, they, they don't ever get, they, I don't ever look at them once, it's just uh, all weird elf kitty girls, they, uh, they really take my fancy. Now bronze, which is more on my level, it's uh, thank you so much with the, the little description, you're helping support my content and helping me take photos. Uh, are you sure about that? I uh, I don't think it costs to take, take photos. If it did, then uh, just one minute. Oh, I'm recording on my phone, but uh, click, click, click. Already doubled my uh, life savings. And then silver, which uh, completely blows me out of the water. Five dollars or more per month. Eek. Thank you so much. And for that, you get access to my Patreon feed. N not mine, hers cute and sometimes weird selfies because uh, we all just love taking cute and weird selfies like this one, this one and this one. Now I'm not exactly sure who's a who's a patron, I think I think that's how you say it, because this girl is uh, basically as she says herself selling lewd content and um, she looks like she's about 12. But to finish this off, this is my cat. Now you've probably not seen my cat, you'll have seen my dog. Um, basically she, she does a bit of a disappearing act, or she did do a disappearing act, 
basically we got her about uh, four or five years ago. My dad was diagnosed with cancer and he wanted a kitty. That was on his like bucket list. So we got her, despite me hating cats at the time. Uh, I don't anymore, obviously. And uh, she, uh, yeah, basically around eight months ago she escaped. Out the conservative door, never to be seen again. We put posts on Facebook, left, right and centre, saying, have you seen this cat? And uh, we had a few responses, some people like 15 miles away, thinking, oh yeah, of course, yeah, nice one. Uh, that's probably not her, yes, I know. And um, turns out, last week, on Tuesday, we got a phone call saying she'd been found 15 miles away in Doncaster. Now, uh, for somebody that lives in a place called Wath, which is like 15 miles away from Doncaster, I'm not entirely sure how, but... Uh, yeah, we've got her back, so you'll, um, you might see her in the future. Yes. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you.